Alpha 322 adds in new gameplay to the salvage mechanic, and now the community absolutely hates it? Why is Spectrum and Reddit losing their minds with this newest release of the PTU? How is the Vulture both fixed and then made completely irrelevant and worthless in the same patch? And how can they make salvaging better going forward? As some of you know, the biggest complaint about the Vulture being used for salvage is that it is a pretty terrible solo ship. You'd start stripping the hull and then shortly after have to get up out of your seat and go into the cargo bay and move the cargo container out of the way and onto the cargo grid so that it wasn't blocking the dispenser. And then you'd be able to go back to hull stripping. You would have to do this each time you fill up a box. Now with the updates to 322, they added a cargo buffer, completely getting rid of the need to get out of your seat each time and you can now, for the most part, completely finish stripping the hull of a ship and then go to the cargo bay and pull out all of your containers out of the dispenser at once and move on to selling the RMC or salvaging more ships. Well, all of these are great changes for the Vulture and only make it more relevant now, right? Well, not exactly. The Reclaimer also received this treatment of having a cargo buffer added, and now the co-pilot seat operates the salvage beams and the new fracturing and disintegration systems. This change completely makes the Reclaimer 100% soloable by giving you more cargo space, a larger cargo buffer, and a single seat to operate all of your salvaging functions, making the Vulture completely pointless to use. About as pointless as not subscribing for more of your favorite Star System news and gameplay videos. So click that subscribe button and join the community. Let's get to the 1,000 subscribers before the ball drops at the end of the year. With the addition of Structural Salvage, 3.22 has added the ability to fracture ships into smaller pieces and then break down those pieces into construction materials. Many people thought that the system would have been more skill-based like how mining works now, making it more involved by forcing players to adjust frequencies or power levels to break up the ship without further damage to the materials we're trying to gather. Players also thought that the ships would break down into refinable resources like titanium, gold, platinum, etc. Unfortunately, none of the gameplay works like this. Essentially, you click your mouse and the magic happens in front of your eyes. This has made players relatively unhappy, or some at least, and unimpressed with what CIG has added to this gameplay loop. CIG developer Torsten did respond to the community's comments and frustrations, stating that the current version of Structural Salvage is a placeholder in some regards, and that they will be making some changes before the patch goes live, which I'll discuss in a moment. Now, is it a little unimaginative? Sure, but can they still make changes later down the road to be more skill-based? Of course they can, and I hope they do. We as players should give constructive feedback to CIG so that they know what we like and what we don't like. Honestly, I'm glad that they added more to the salvage gameplay, and I know that they won't always get things right the first time. But I expect that they will continue to iterate on salvage and make it better. Now, Torsten did follow up with his response, stating that they've reduced the internal buffer for the Reclaimer from 360 to 140 SCU, and the Vulture has been reduced from 14 to 12 SCU. And they've also reduced the number of construction materials generated per ship, increased the amount of time it takes to fracture a ship and disintegrate a ship, and added an alignment field to the fracturing and disintegration fields to have a sweet spot. In the next few days, they will also update the UI to help us find that sweet spot, as well as make updates to the amount of construction materials we get based on our positioning of the sweet spot. This might make it a bit more interactive and require a little more input to maximize. Overall, these are all great changes that may help until they add more to this gameplay. I'd love to see fracturing and disintegrating a ship require us to constantly adjust the resonant frequency of the fields to achieve a successful fracture of a ship, and be able to disintegrate each part of a ship to make it more skill-based. This could introduce this chance of a failure if the resonance is too unstable, and could cause us to lose the chance to get construction materials entirely. What are your thoughts about the new addition to salvage? And what do you want salvage to look like? Let me know in the comments below. So how can we make salvage better? In a lot of ways, I think there should be more emphasis on salvaging weapons and components to maximize profit. There should be a level of risk when removing certain components, as where if you're removing something like a power plant or quantum drive, there's a potential you could do it wrong. Maybe it sends the component into a critical state, and now you have to hurry back to your ship and back it up before the component blows up and kills you or damages your ship. This would add a pretty thrilling piece of gameplay that focuses on the skillful component extraction. This step could be made a requirement for being able to break down the ship fully. If they were to combine hull scraping and component salvaging and finish it off with fracturing and disintegrating the ship, those players should be making a decent amount of money, rather than just make a ton of money off one part of salvage. Hopefully CIG will begin to focus on this balance so that all three pieces of gameplay can be maximized together. 
With CIG seemingly picking up the pace to add more gameplay and content to the game, I don't have very many complaints to add. I think that from 320, 321, 321.1, and now 322, CIG has added a lot of great things with each patch that comes out. And I for one am happy with how they've maintained a solid focus on delivering new features and new ships, and tried to maintain the game stability so that we don't have another 318 incident. What I'm looking forward to for the last few weeks of the year is testing Pyro, and also hopefully testing the replication layer and Stanton to Pyro jump point. Sadly, there's no information on when we'll get our hands on this, but CIG keeps telling us that it will be sometime soon this month. We'll see what happens, and I'll keep my fingers crossed in the meantime. What are you looking forward to most in 322? Or are you looking forward to Pyro and the next patch more than anything? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you want to see more great Star Citizen news and gameplay, subscribe to the channel and check out these videos for more. Happy Holidays, and I will see you in the next video. Havoc out.